Hi, uh, my name is uh, Raghu Rajgopal. I am the co-founder and CEO of uh, Datri Blood Stem Cell Donors Registry. We created this registry in 2009 to help uh, patients anywhere in the world uh, who are suffering from uh, life-threatening disorders uh, like uh, leukemia and several other genetic disorders which can be actually cured by a peripheral blood stem cell transplant. These uh, patients uh, only have a 25% chance to find a match from within the family. The others uh, need to actually go out to find a match from other unrelated registries. So, so does this match happen even from country to other country? Absolutely, absolutely. So we have created a database of uh, genetically typed uh, 42,000 donors in our database. And uh, these donors are uh, you know, across the country. They are all committed donors who are ready to help any patient anywhere in the world. So far, we have uh, facilitated 31 transplants. Out of the 31 transplants, four of these uh, patients uh, are from abroad, two from the US, one from UK, and one from Italy. But the donors actually donated in India, and we carried the blood stem cells and gave it to them in uh, their respective country. So uh, what is the percentage of awareness in abroad in here? The percentage of awareness, the awareness level in the US and other developed countries is very high. The awareness level in India is uh, fairly low. Now people are you know, becoming aware of it. Now all the doctors who are treating these patients know that this is a cure that can be recommended. So when they recommend the cure, so uh, naturally the patients come to know about Datri and we also do a lot of awareness camps in colleges, in um, corporates and in community centers and we recruit donors. There is nothing that we store. We only store the data. Right. So when we, there is a patient in the need of blood stem cells, mm -hmm. they will come to us. So we will check if there is a match available. So when we check for a match, kind of a thing, like yes, we do a genetic type. Yeah, we we do what is called as HLA typing. Okay. So we take a buckle swab sample from you. You fill up an application form. You sign a consent form. And once I take that sample, we do what is called as HLA typing. So in a layman term, it is nothing but a biological identity of a human being. So the, that information is stored in the database. And whenever there is a patient that is in need, we check if the donor and the patient, there is a match. Just like a blood donor, uh, like, like there is something. Yeah, this but is a 10 parameter like match. You can't store it, right? No, no, we are not storing it. That is, that is a completely different area. Right. Yeah, we are not talking about storage. We only store the data. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so, from which group, uh, age group do you generate? This is uh, any uh, donors between the age group of 18 to 50 are eligible to donate. 18 to 50? Yeah, yeah. So, any kind of test that you perform on the patient before taking the stem cells? The donor, you mean the donor, yeah. So, the donor needs to go through what is called as a confirmatory typing mm -hmm. and the donor also needs to go through uh, what is uh, called as the master health checkup where they have to find out if the donor is completely healthy and uh, does not have any diseases. And uh, those are the donors that we select. But this BP is very common in most of the people. Blood pressure and you know diabetes and all that is not an issue. That is fine. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.